from this chapter some application of trigonometry we are doing a very beautiful sum and this sum is based on angle of elevation let's read the sum first the sum says that the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree find the height of the tower now this is the statement which we had now from this when we read this we at least understood that there is an observer observing the top of a tower right so let's have that here so we have an observer and we have a tower here right now from the information which we read there here we have an observer right and from this we come to know that he is observing the top of the tower so here we have the top of the tower so that means the top of the tower is the object and he is the observer here right now what is he doing he is making an angle of elevation that means we know he is observing above the horizontal line right and there is a line which connects his eye to the top of the tower that is the object and that line we know is nothing but line of sight right now we know the very next thing is whenever we have an observer there has to be a horizontal line but for that first check in the sum do we have the height of the observer given to us no we don't have that means here the height of the observer is neglected it is not there it is missing and in that case we know that we take that observer as a point on the ground so we take that observer as a point so now that line of sight has to be from this particular point so it comes from here so this is a line of sight and the ground itself would be the horizontal line so we have that ground itself as a horizontal line and we know that this person is at a distance of 30 meter away from the foot of the tar so this distance we know is 30 meter right wasn't that easy so we have that angle of elevation here as 30 degree this is what we have and we mentioned there right they say find the height of the tar we need to find the height of the tar we know that we as we learned the tar is going to be perpendicular to the ground so hence we have a right angle triangle abc which is formed here and we need to find the length of ab now you are not going to draw a tar and observer like this you are just going to draw a right angle triangle abc with this information there now we have drawn the figure what is the next thing now we need to describe the figure right so we write there so first we are going to write the description about that bc what is bc yes the distance of the foot of the tar from a point on the ground that is bc is given as 30 meter right the next one we will mention about ab what is ab ab is nothing but it is the height of the tar and we denote it by h meter we don't know that is what we are supposed to find so we take it as h right now what is the next information we have we have the angle acb given to us which is 30 degree so we have a right angle triangle and i have always said in that right angle triangle search for an acute angle which is given to us and we have that acute angle as angle c so observe angle c right and for this angle c with respect to this angle c observe what are we supposed to find we need to find a b which is the opposite side right and what is given to us the given information is bc and bc is nothing but the edges inside so that means in this sum we are talking about opposite side and edges inside opposite side and edges inside and we know that the ratio which relates opposite side and edges inside is nothing but it is tan ratio so we are going to apply tan tan for which angle for that 30 degree so we write in right angle triangle abc tan of 30 and we know tan what is tan it is opposite side upon the edges inside that means it is going to be ab upon bc so now the job is very easy we have to just substitute the value there now do we know the value of tan 30 yes we know from the trigonometric table the value of tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 so we write there 1 upon root 3 the value of tan 30 we substitute that now the next is do we know the value of ab no but we took it as h so write there h right so we write h do we know the value of bc yes what is that it is 30 so we write there 30 right wasn't this easy simple it's more easier now now just cross multiply so what do we get we get h into root 3 is equal to 30 into 1 which is 30 right we want the value of h so keep h on one side we shift that root 3 onto the other side so now we'll have h is equal to 30 upon root 3 you know what has happened now in the denominator in this fraction we have a 
irrational number what do we do yes very correct we need to rationalize that and for rationalizing that we are going to multiply and divide by root 3 so we do that now we do the rationalizing now so we write h is equal to 30 upon root 3 into root 3 in the numerator into root 3 in the denominator so now what happens we get h is equal to in the numerator we have 30 root 3 right Beautiful. And in the denominator, we have root 3 into root 3. What is that? It's 3. Right? Can we do the cancellation there? We can reduce? Yes, we can reduce. We do the cancellation there. And we get h is equal to 10 root 3. Is it over? No. Because we know the value of root 3, which we know is nothing but 1.73. We are going to substitute that value there. So, we write, instead of root 3, we are going to write 1.73. So, we write 10 into 1.73. And you know further, when you multiply, the decimal moves one place to the right. So, we have h is equal to 17.3. We got the value of h as 17.3 and what is h? That is the height of the tar and that is what we were supposed to find. So now we can write the final answer there saying that therefore the height of the tar is 17.3 meter and we got the sum. Wasn't that easy? Simple, right?